Hello viewers, I'm your host Malazetic, and today I want to talk to you about microtransactions for New World and some concerns I have about it. The first thing I want to do is dispel any thoughts of whether or not it will be in the game. Per Amazon's website under their FAQ section, and I quote, Can I buy in-game items with real money? Players will be able to purchase optional in-game items, end quote. Well, now that I have that out of the way, what kind of optional in-game items do you think Amazon is talking about? Well, to get an idea of what could potentially be in it, I took a look at Amazon's other game with real money transactions, also known as Crucible, before it was getting canceled. Based on the Crucible's model, you will have to purchase a premium currency similar to Guild Wars, Gems, or Elder Scrolls Online, Crowns. Once you have the premium currency, you are able to purchase anything in the store as long as you have the credits to do so. The store offered a weekly and featured bundle in which you can get a discounted rate on those goods along with a battle pass. If you are not interested in any of the current bundles, then you could a la carte individually purchase any of the other items they had. These items include cosmetic overrides, character skins, emotes, character voice lines, skin decals, and other character emojis. The game didn't have any pay to win options in the store, and to be honest, this made sense since the Crucible's FAQ on the website stated, and I quote, Yes, Crucible has an in-game store. You can buy a battle pass each season and will also have in-game cosmetic items available for purchase. Crucible does not sell items that allow players to pay to win. End quote. To reiterate, they explicitly stated not sell items that allow players to win. Now, let's go back to New World's FAQ section and... Yeah, about that. If you're not picking up what I'm putting down, New World may have pay to win options. For me, this is a huge red flag and I hope Amazon can address this before the release of the game. I really hope they take the stance of Crucible where it's just cosmetic items and doesn't actually affect the pay to win. Though, even if they do take that stance, I still actually have a concern about one other possible transaction known as the server transfer. I remember when World of Warcraft first introduced server transfer as a paid service. My server went from a medium population to a ghost town overnight. Now, I doubt it will be that drastic for New World as server transfers are now commonplace for MMOs so that friends and family can play together, but I am concerned because of, let's say, a big named community decide to move servers? Uh, let me give you this scenario. A large community takes over a server and owns every settlement. After owning all the settlements for a while, they decide to drive the taxes to max because why not? They can do that. Players don't like this, so they move off the server so they can get away from these players. But now that the said community has killed the servers, there are no more PvP interactions and they kind of get bored as there's no one around except for their own community. So they too are going to have to server transfer to get their PvP thrills. At this point, the server is basically dead and the players will transfer back, but that will take some time to happen. And what's going to happen to the server that they transfer to? This is kind of what I call a server transfer cycle where it's kind of going in a circle. The question becomes, how will Amazon address all this? If they make it where you can only transfer maybe once a month? Will they make it where you can transfer but can't join a guild for maybe a month? It, it's hard to say. They have a few possibilities of what they can and can't do. It's just if they'll do anything about it. I would like to believe it is something they're thinking about because of the name restrictions they had in place during the preview. I'm not sure if you know what I'm talking about, but they made it where your character's name was regional based off of what region you were playing. What I mean by this is if you made a character on the West Coast servers named Bob, you wouldn't be able to make a Bob on any of the other West Coast servers. You could on the East Coast servers, but not on the West Coast servers because it's, it's region locked. With this in mind, chances are server transfers might just be limited to your region, and name changes might also be a microtransaction. 
The other thing we have to consider is that we know New World isn't going to be a subscription-based MMO, which means they plan to make all their money from the in-game store along with the one-time game purchase. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you worried that microtransactions will ruin the game? Do you think Amazon should address this issue before closed beta? Anywho, thanks for tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful day.